What's up? You checking out the frequent flyer? And I have something new to show you guys from Emacs. This is the Emacs Nano. This is the world's smallest circular polarized antenna. This is one up close so you guys can see it. It's really small. And let me show you guys this little antenna here. This is what I've been comparing it to because it's similar in size. I don't know if it's similar in weight. Let's check out the weight now. So this antenna here weighs seven grams exactly. But this one, 4.1 grams. So this thing only weighs four grams, almost half as heavy. And this was previously the world's smallest circular polarized antenna, the lollipop, <laughs> and check it out. Let's look at how heavy this thing is. 3.4 grams, but keep in mind that this one has this connection on here. It does come with those. Well, none of them come with that connection, I, I don't think. This is a MMCX. Both of these are MMCXs. And this is the coaxial here, but let's see if this one is lighter than that. That's 3.4 grams there. Let's check this one out. 2.8 grams so yes these are smaller check it out but these are MMCX connections which is better than this little connection here so it's the lightest circular polarized antenna as well and it comes in a lot of different flavors so we have left side polarized and right side polarized and we have the MMCX we have the angled one we have one in here that's just straight. It just sticks straight up in the air. And I imagine this one comes in angled as well, but I only have three of them. And I have did some testing with this here since it's the closest competitor that I have for it. I have been testing it with this guy here. This is my old Dusty Sky Stars 140. <laughs> and so it has this little connection here, which is perfect for testing both of these. I've been currently running this on it. This has been my favorite antenna to run on here. You can sort of bend it back like that. But this one is flexible, even more flexible, and it holds its shape a little better. And so I did test this out here on the strip where I usually fly at. And standing from the opening of the construction yard and reaching all the way down to the end of the strip there at the end of the gate, that's about 500 feet roughly. And I can make it down there with both of them. But this one, it's a lot of static and all when you start getting halfway down that little strip there. But this one, I was able to go all the way and it was still clear with just a little bit of breakup. And so I'm imagining that you can probably take this thing a little further than 500 feet. And so I plan to take this out to the field and check it out and compare it to this. Alright y'all, so we out here to test the gangster of this little Emacs Nano here. We're going to see how flyable it is and all. Check out the FPV feed with it. With this Emacs Baby Hawk R Pro. And I only have this little 300 milliamp hour 3S pack here. This is really for the tiny whoops, but I figure I'm not going to be flying too long with this thing. We're just going to test uh, the video feed and all so it's going to be a very short flight don't want the video to be too long anyhow so let's get this thing up in the air and check it out hopefully i got everything hashed out with this little camera here it was out of focus at one point and then i was getting a little uh i don't know if it was like a power issue or what it was but i was getting a little um i guess you could say erratic behavior from the FPV feed. And so let's try to take off with it. Wait, there's a little piece of dust or something on the lens. It's gone now. And this battery is dead, I think. <laughs> or maybe I was pushing it a little too hard. Yeah, I think I was just pushing it a little too hard. The feed looks beautiful though.
getting a little bit of break up coming around there. <laughs> this battery is really not built for this. don't want to go down over there. <laughs> so it's not bad. It's doable, definitely. Okay, let me stop abusing my battery and bring it in. So that's it. Quick little demo flight of this little Baby Hawk R Pro with this little Emax Nano, the world's smallest circular polarized antenna. Seems doable. Thanks for watching.